So welcome back to the Lawn Care Grandpa channel. We, we appreciate you coming by and letting us ramble a little bit about some landscaping and lawn care. Today we're going to be talking about which way to tip a lawnmower over. Now, there's a couple different reasons you might want to do that, so we'll talk about that, and, and some reasons why you might want to tip it one way versus another. So today uh, we're here with Jerry McMillan. He's had over 40 years of landscaping and lawn care uh, experience, and my name is Matthew Boo. I'm, I work with him for about 10 years. He's my father-in-law. He's a great grandpa. I'm a grandpa, so lawn care grandpa channel. So if you have any questions you would like answered, leave them down in the comments below and we'll get to them. But today we're going to talk about tipping over a lawnmower. So now we're going to talk about something that might seem absurd, but people have tried it, I guess. Uh, can you tip over a riding lawnmower or should you? Actually, there's a lot of uh, businesses that are working on them. You'll see that you can uh, raise it up and get underneath it. But the, the way you'll do it is always raise it up from the front. The motor is designed that way so that it can uh, be down and it won't hurt the engine. So you raise it from the front. Okay. So if you need to get to the blades, the mower, or anything, you raise it, you don't tip it. Right. Okay. If, you, if you've turned it over, it's by accident and it shouldn't happen. Yeah, you want to get it level as quick as you can, but uh, they're, they're not designed to turn over on their side. A lot of mowers are designed to tip a certain way. And uh, usually, usually if it's a, a lawnmower that throws grass out the side, uh, the side that it throws grass out, out of is the side you want to bring up. Okay, you want to you want to lift that side. Right. Okay. Now I've had some push mowers, and uh, most of them will be raised from the front. Mm -hmm. Wherever the spark plug is, it'll design it'll show you that side should be up. Okay. Because you don't want oil or gas. To get into the cylinder, okay. you'll have a have one hard to start. It'll foul out the plug, so you want to make sure that uh, the spark plug area is up. Okay. Up. So one thing that that I've always thought of, and whenever I've tipped over mowers, I always try to make sure that it's, at least in my mind, it's been where. You don't want the mower to turn towards wherever the air filter is. is. Is that the right way to think about it, or is it more about the spark plug? Or what does that usually, how does it work? I think that probably that way is, uh, uh, you don't want to go either one of those ways. If you have a choice, you want to raise the area of the plug up, and, and it won't be, it won't likely be the plug on the side. It won't likely. I don't think I can think of one right off, so... Probably the spark plug area is in the front to raise it up in the front. Okay. If you if you turn it over on either side, it'll probably be wrong. Okay. Well, what about you put the wrong kind of gas in there? You panic. You're in your driveway. You turn it over to get the gas out. I mean, uh, I, that, I can see where that happens. You're on the hill. It turns over. You know. So which way is the is is an okay way for it to go? Do you think? Well, you don't have a lot of choice if that's what you're trying to do. Wherever the the gas cap is at. You obviously want that down so that it'll drain the tank out. Okay. And not in the yard usually because you're going to have a bunch of dead grass. Mm. But I always, uh, I don't think I've had that problem in a while. Uh, but uh, if you did and you do it's the wrong kind of gas, you would have the, the cap where you put the gas in. That would be downhill, down. Okay, so you turn it towards that. Right. Yeah. Is there a, a, a way that, gas could or the fuel could get up into the air filter uh, if you turn it towards it and lean it that way too long well i don't think it would hurt it that way mm -hmm. but uh, uh, you might uh, take the filter out oh, if you thought hurt. it would uh, if you thought it would get into it you might want to just take that out okay. that way it wouldn't happen I've heard a lot of people say you take the spark plugs off before you do that stuff. So you think it's a good idea to remove the spark plug? Well, the idea is so it won't start or mm -hmm. kick over. Uh, usually, uh, that's always a safe thing to do. So, pretty much there's two ways really to, to tip a mower. You really shouldn't flip it over, even if it's a push mower, right? So, if you're going to tip it, it's either the front wheels up or whichever side that you would find the spark plug on. Right, that's a... That's a good application just to go by a rule to always have handy. Yeah. Now, you can get those jacks and lifts and stuff for them. If, if it's a big riding mower, mm -hmm. you're going to want to do that. But we're talking about a push mower. You can just push down on the handle, prop it up, or to, to sideways a bit as long as it's the spark plug's coming up and then prop it up. Right. 
Right. Uh, if it's a riding lawnmower, you'll always uh, be much better off raising it in the front. That allows you to sit on a stool if you want to and work on it. Yeah. And like, because a lot of times you got to get the blades off to, to sharpen mm -hmm. them and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So, so as long as you're tipping it up, the uh, spark plugs up, or if it's a riding lawnmower, you're raising it. Right. That's my, my thing. Okay. Well, we appreciate you coming by and letting us ramble some more about landscaping and lawn care. We, we enjoy talking about it and uh, we enjoy answering questions. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Click like and subscribe and that way it'll help us out and help us bring some more videos to you. And, um, you know, it, remember, whenever you're doing landscaping, it's important to be safe. So when we're talking about the spark plugs today and tipping over mowers, sometimes this can be dangerous. So take your time, make sure you're, you know what you're doing and, um, and think about it for a bit. But safety is really important. I mean, injuries happen. I mean, and sometimes when you're by yourself, that could be a big deal. So if you have any questions, put them down below. Take that spark plug wire off. It's always an easy thing to do, and it's a safe thing to do.